Welcome to AFTV. I have Kenny Ken with me. Um, well, two under feet, Kenny. Um, I was, I'm, I'm furious, if I'm honest, with the decisions. Not the decision, that's the wrong thing to say. The red card. Um, the, the penalty, I think, was correct, but the red card. And before then, I thought it was literally, that was it. Comfortably winning. I took my shoes off on the watch long. I sat back, I said, this is it. And then half time, whole game changed. What were your thoughts? I thought the first half was the best half of football I've seen for a long time. Players that I've been mm -hmm. criticising. Pepe, I just want to shake his hands. You know, I wrote him off, I tapped out against him. Oh, you know, he's, he's doing himself credit, you know. I don't know what, what game it's happened or when, when the penny's dropped. The penny has dropped now. He really is hungry. He's playing well. Maybe he's seen how Saka's been playing. He's seen Saka's pulled it. And he's thinking, hang on here. I'm betting them. Technically, I'm better players than... Um, yeah. I'm better than Smith Rowe. I'm better than Saka. Now I've got to go and prove it. And I've got, he's taking his chance. Great goal. You know, I thought we were unlucky to have the, you know, the first goal chalked off. But there was only one winner. And then we make two mistakes. The first mistake is that we, we can't read the through, through pass. David Luiz is on his goal side. But even then, I don't understand why he was sent off. It was a penalty. No, no problem with the penalty. I shake... The referee's done everything right. It's a blatant penalty. No doubt about that. No mm. argument whatsoever. But what I don't understand is the double jeopardy law. And you've got someone like, uh, you know, when you're in the BT studio, he's saying that David Luiz, if he smashed him, it would have been a yellow card. But because it was, he, he was nowhere near, near him and he's clipped his heels accidentally, it's a red card. I need to see those rules again because I don't understand... The interpretation of the law because I thought I did. I'm a massive yeah, fan of VAR, right. by the way. I love VAR because I think it gives rep managers and players no room for avenue in terms of them making excuses and blaming everyone but themselves. But I can't, mm. I can't back VAR when it's like that. It's not even a VAR decision. Paulson has been impetuous, he couldn't wait to, you know, give a red card. First thing, that's always in his mind. Oh, David Luiz. Remember David Luiz last yep. year against Man City, you know, it's yep. Etihad, when he did the same thing um, when, and he got sent off. He said, oh, yeah, he's got form for this. And I think they looked at the player rather than the incident. And then mm. when, um, when um, you know, Neves has made it 1-1, they get the second straight after half time. It was game over because they... I don't You know what it is, right? It's that sometimes, right, you need luck in football, but... For the referee to help look walls in back into the game, didn't help them win it, but it gave them an impetus to get back in the game. Because don't get me wrong, one one, you know that gives them confidence. But it's eleven against eleven. If he just gives the bloody penalty, I'm not saying yeah. that we were going to go and win the game in the second half. But with the momentum we had and the play, having eleven on the pitch and the way we've been playing since um, the Chelsea game, you have to think that we were we had a good chance of getting another three points. The rules are creaky. But to get a gift like that, you know, is monumental. And then when they get the second goal, it's game over for me. And then it's a case of damage limitations. He's got to make substitutions. Lacazette would be frustrated to be taken off because he thought, you know, he could have um, got a goal. You know, other yep. players may have, may have been taken off, but it's hard to take him off because you take off Smith Rowe and you think, right, on the counter-attack, who's that guy who's going to make that key pass? You take off mm. Saka, who's playing well, and you take off Pepe. It's a hard decision to make. So, you know, what he did do, and, and which kind of blunted us, is that when he took off Lacazette, where was the fulcrum? Pepe, you know, is playing through the middle, but that's not his game. And then, in the end, we had to bring on Lacazette. But I've got to talk about Leno. I'm not going to slag him off, because I'm going to give him okay. a bye for this, because he's been fantastic for us the last few games. He's another player that I've been critical of. And he won't do that again. But, I'll, but I want to know what was in his head. Because he left himself not with do, man. I don't mm. know whether, whether, it, whether it's the condition of the pitch, but when he came out, head of the ball, just head of the ball, or just or do something. Because even if we yeah, go yeah. down to three, three, even if we lose three one, all right, don't get me wrong, you're trying to help your team, but you didn't help us by going off. Because right now we're going to miss you. We're going to we're going to need you for crucial matches. Because you know I'm hearing that Ryan's might have. Has he got a hip problem, Ryan? Yeah, Matt Ryan's got a hip problem, so he's, he's, yeah, he's so, injured so, so, and he's got so, in training. Hip problem. Well, that, that takes quite a, a long time to clear. So we're going to yeah, have to put our trust 
our confidence into a keeper whose confidence was damaged because um, because um, what happened against Man City. So we've got to back this keeper. But again, I'm not going to lay no. Don't do that again, mate. Don't don't do mm. that again because I don't want to go back to the bad old days when I was when, when I had my doubts about your temperament, your command of the area. You've turned it around. All right, I'm still not hundred hundred percent convinced, but I'm there. I'm get, you're getting you know you're drawing me in, and then you go and do that. Don't do that, mm. that again. Please don't do that again yeah. because it's, what, what you what by doing that, you know, the game became a bit of a farce, and then what all it was was Wolves um, tr- slowing the game down, us making ourselves difficult to beat. Wolves thinking, you know what, we've already got we've already banked the check. Let's just keep it in the safe. They weren't going to do anything stupid to give away those three points. They weren't going to mm. get themselves sent off. You know, if they got a, a third goal, great. If they but if it didn't happen, they still they they protect their um, three points. But mm-hmm. we have to look at we've got to now forget about this game. This is a massive test now for all the boys. It's a massive test for Runison now because yeah. we've got a big game on Saturday against yeah, Villa. Villa. He's got yeah. he's clearly. I'm sure if um it's a free match playing for Leno, then he's got we've got um, Leeds and Man City. Step it up, step up to the mm. plate, lads. You've got to be playing. Show us what you're made of. You played at Arsenal Football Club. You you've talk you talk a good game a lot of you players. Is how much yeah you're proud to play for a goal. Well, show some effing pride then. Three games. Show me what you're made of. The same for you know David Luiz. You know Aberration. He's out for six, three games. You know Gabriel. They're, you know, they're, they're they're sorry to cut you. Kenny. They're telling me it's one game. Um, boys upstairs, but I'm sure it's three games because it's a straight red. But I, I need no, to double. I, I, no, it's a straight red. It's three games. Yeah, that's why. If, if, if it was well. a second red card. Then I think it would have been, um, it would been a game, but it was three yeah. games. Then you know, Gabriel left that probably feels a bit, you know, missed that he's out the side. Step it up. It's three opportunities, mate. That is the opportunity mm. now. You know, we had our doubts before Christmas. Well, I had my doubts. I was calling for the manager to be replaced because I couldn't see any light at the end of the tunnel. The players are now playing well. Everyone's saying good things about them. The fans, you know, are happy with the performances. People who who staunchly behind Arteta and now you know chucking and bombs at people like myself who wanted him to be replaced well mm. why's the cheat now these players are more than happy to take the plaudits let's see what you like to come to pressure let's see what you're Definitely. made of you know what I mean Definitely. Aston Villa going to be conf- going to be full of confidence they turned us over we need the chance to get revenge Leeds played fantastic football against Leicester you know but they're Jekyll and Hyde you know we've we're either going to pick them off or they're going to body us. Let's not Definitely. let's not lie down. And Man City, why should Man City just you know walk walk away with this league and teams just lie down and die? <clears throat> Come, let's show some balls, man. This is what we got to yeah, show. Definitely. Show some effing balls. Show us what you've effing made off, and let and let, let's get a season back on track. And let's just put this to bed. It happens. Yeah, we need. To, yeah, we yeah exactly. We got to got to put it behind us, and we have got to keep 100%. carrying on because yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah. We was on such a good run and. No, well, yeah, no, it was on a good run, and it's just, it's kind of just, yeah, it's but, yeah, just... But, you know, look, it's going to happen in football, right? In, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, referees are going to make decisions like that. They are going to follow their version of the letter of the law. Players are going to be sent off, but again, it's about the squad now. You know, it's the responsibility of playing for Arsenal Football Club. You have to relish that responsibility. You not only should relish it, you should look forward to it. So, you know what? You should look at that that team sheet and, and see your name not in it, and say, you know what? I should be in that team. And now I'm going to mm. show that that bastard who's left me out that I'm going to that I'm going to show him that I am better than those players that he thinks are better than me. Take your opportunities, mate. That's all it's going to be now, because you know you would like to think, you know, that there's going to be a ruthless side to the football club at the end of the season. Some of these players may may not make it, and we may have to look for bigger acquisitions to you know to get a different identity of the football side. So for a lot of a lot of players, you're playing for your futures. Yeah, so step it up. Hundred percent, and that's what the youngsters have done. And I think, like you said, Pepe's slowly coming into his own and doing that as well. So I have to, I have to give a credit to him. We, Charlie well. saw William as well. William, you know, you've got all that experience. But as far as Arsenal fans, you were you started with a clean slate when you came to the football club. We don't care what yeah. you did at Chelsea. We don't care what everything you won. You've got to now do it for Arsenal. You've had a you've had, let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. You had a poor start of the season. Turn it around. Show some balls. Show us what you're made of. Mm. You're not that shit player that everyone says you are. Prove, prove them wrong. Go on, take your chance. You're going to get some. 
Hundred percent. Right, Kenny. Before I wrap up, just quickly say, I'll just check the red card thing. They're saying for a so-called professional foul, a player will also receive a one-match ban if the foul in question is dissent. Um, it will normally be a two-match ban, and if if you're talking about violent conduct, the punishment normally is a three-match ban for the red card. But oh. it's I don't re I, listen. It, I'm just all I know is the rules change so much. But all I remember mm. is yeah, straight red is a three-match ban. So. We'll, we'll, we'll find out anyway. But well, it's, um, it's, it's, it's again, it's again. These players know what they've done. They've let they've you know they, you know David Luiz will be unlucky. I yeah. Think, I think I think the fans, you know, whether we like it or not, it's cards and mark for a lot of football fans. They think, oh, we see him again, so they're gonna, they're gonna want blood. But let, I think they know. I don't think I think there'll be sympathy and understands understanding for Leno. And the reason I'll be empathy for him because of his performance beforehand. So. He's got some credit in the mm. bank, but he won't be doing that again. You know, he'll think Definitely. before he yeah, before he, act, he acts. All right, no more, no more no more Bruce Grobler moments. You know, Bruce Grobler's no gone and retired, mate. No more Bruce Grobler's. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, no, one hundred percent, Kenny. Thank you so much for speaking with me, bro. We'll be back again, obviously Saturday. No problem. We'll no problem. Well, Fingers crossed, mate. You get up early. Put, put yeah, put your alarm clock on. No, don't oversleep. You know what I mean? I don't. You know, if you no want, watch, you know what soccer I am. You know what soccer and make make sure you watch that, but concentrate the game. Who knows? You might see yourself in the effort again. <laughs> Listen, I know you. I recognise your face from somewhere. <laughs> Listen, take care, Kenny. <laughs> Today's show is sponsored by Profit Accumulator, the number one match betting service in the UK. Match betting is different to gambling. With gambling, you bet on one side, and if that side loses, you lose. With match betting, you bet on both sides. That means no matter what the outcome, you're a winner. When you sign up to Profit Accumulator, they will walk you through the whole process of how to do match betting, and as long as you follow what they tell you, you cannot lose. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description right now for your free trial and you can start earning some real cash.